Hi, this is Marcus from ImperialDesignStudio.com back with another video to give you yet another example of background scrolling effects or what we call my cow effects. Uh, in this one or in this video we're going to look at the opposite of what we looked at in the other video uh, which was to it's fill you in if you haven't seen it to draw a rectangle like so fill the box with an image and then get that image to stay where it is while the box scrolls over it uh, if you haven't seen that video you go and cross see it now uh, and for those of you who have we'll crack on and we'll do the same effect but opposite so what we're going to do instead of concentrating on one small rectangle or narrow or thin rectangle we're going to fill the whole browser with an image so this time uh, we will add an image to the browser or the browser fill I'll go for a blue uh, planet make sure the image is large this one is really large so it's kind of zoomed in you probably want a smaller image but this is fine for an example just to show you the effect we're going for now if we preview this page as it is you see when we scroll down the image scrolls up as you would expect it to if you were scrolling through it we don't want it to do that what we're going to tell it to do is we are going to go to the browser fill and we're going to go to the scroll options and activate parallax scroll in motion now what this means is that the we're telling it initially scroll it's set as a default speed of one which is what the same speed as you would scroll at normally uh, and then we're telling it after the key position which is at the top of the browser then scroll at a speed of one so it's uniform to scroll as it should do so what we're going to do is tell it the picture behind initially move at a speed of zero so don't move at all stay where you are and then after the brow top of the browser passes this point move at a speed of zero again don't move stay where you are so we're telling it basically the whole time don't move stay where you are and if we click preview we'll be able to see it in action so if you watch this bar on the side when I scroll downwards the image stays where it is even though the bar is scrolling so what we would then do is take a rectangle and we will go down uh, to around 1100 pixels down and we will draw a rectangle here so we'll draw quite a long one don't worry about this bit on the bottom uh, this wouldn't be there in a normal website but for display purposes it's absolutely fine uh, we will make that 100% width and then we're going to preview this now just remember all we've done is put a rectangle over the image that the image that we've told not to move at any point so if we go in and preview this we should now see the image there and then when we scroll down our rectangle is scrolling at a speed of one so normal speed and this we've told to scroll at a speed of zero which is don't move so we could it kind of gives a nice screen or sliding screen effect uh, it's, it looks stunning and visual and is a very very effective background scrolling effect the reverse of the one we've discussed in the previous video uh, if you like this video please subscribe and we'll have more videos coming your way shortly more tutorials and we will go far more in depth into parallax scrolling we will get quite complex and we'll get quite fun see you shortly